the McFly farm. McFly farm? <laughs> Who are you? The name's McFly. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... What? Eastwood? Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome to my channel. Excited for today's reaction because we're gonna be finishing our Back to the Future trilogy and uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this so I'm excited to react to it. A lot of people as well said that the third one is way better than the second one so I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see where you know how they're gonna like close this how they're gonna be ending the story for us i know that this movie represents a lot of your maybe childhood or a lot of your favorite music uh, music movies and uh, yeah i'm um, i'm intrigued by it i wanna i wanna finish this chapter so before doing that i wanted to say thank you for joining me on this journey thank you for discovering my channel maybe due to these movies it does mean a lot to me I believe this movie is called a cult classic so you know seeing so much love for this movie definitely makes you want to check different ones from the same category so please leave in the comment section below suggestions as well or you know your favorite movie or the movie you grew up with and represents a big part of your life or what you think that it's a must 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 reaction for the full length reaction and for the other two movies you can find uh, on my patreon everything you need is there it's uncut unedited very easy um you know just go check it out the link is in the description below and for more me i stream on twitch five times a week drop by say hi don't be shy good community good people okay now leaving some space here for uh oof, for for the movie and let's go 1955 Great. There it is! <laughs> good, good. Back to the future 3! Einstein! Einstein! Good boy! Oh, so much feet. Is this Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> hey kids, what time is it? Great. Say how de do to you. I don't know what the how de do the time is, but I assume it was before uh, Mickey Mouse Date, Breakfast Club. Sunday, November 13th, 1955. Prisoner Marty say he had come back from the future. Oh. Hey, Doc. Ah! <laughs> calm down, okay? Just calm down. It's me, it's Marty. Lord! I love the piano. <clears throat> This can't be happening! Still can't believe that you are here! Doc, I am here and it does make sense! It's a very interesting story, future boy. How could you possibly know about it? You sent me a letter. Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. Unfortunately, the car will never fly again. As a front, while I attempt to repair the... This is so much for my brain. However, I've gotten quite adept at shoeing horses and fixing wagons. Nice. Amazing. I actually end up as a blacksmith in the old west. Probably will die by some stupid disease. Inside, you will find repair instructions. Once you have returned to 1985, destroy the time machine. Destroy it? Mm. Yeah, well, it's a long story, Doc. But, uh, yeah. And please take care of him. Einstein. Einstein. Yeah, the dog. Stein. He's a Einstein. Dog, dog. Einstein. It's what you call your dog. Einstein. Stein. Stein. <laughs> These are my wishes. Please respect them and follow them. Your friend in time, Doc Emmanuel Brown. Crazy. Just imagine receiving a letter from your other self. I need. Yes. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm sorry, Doc. It's all my fault. You're stuck. Oh, it's not I need. Okay, got it. I could have ended up in the Dark Ages. They would, probably would have burned me at a stake as a heretic or something. <laughs> Alright, according to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a side tunnel. We may have to blast. Explosions. I like explosions. I don't know if it... Oh, Copernicus! 
so cute. Oh, I was riding to Jules Verne and had a profound effect on my life. I had 20,000 leagues under the sea. I read that book. I must devote my life to science. That means the time machine must be right through this wall. Explode it. Oh, it's been buried here for 70 years, 2 months and 13 days. Stop. <laughs> Lightning bolt shorted out the time circuit control microchip. How can we fix that? No wonder this circuit failed. It says made in Japan. All the best stuff is made in Japan. Trust dog. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This Japanese. But it's true. And now, knowing I'm going to spend my future in the past, sounds like a wonderful way to spend my retirement years. Berkus! He's whimpering. Go and check. Something is happening. He's whimpering. Oh, Sept September 7? Shoot. That's like six days. Shot in the back by. Shot in the back by. By who? Shot in the back by Bifford. Something. Great Scott. That's one week after you wrote the letter. Memory by his beloved Clara. Who the hell Clara. is Clara? But you've heard Tannen over a matter of eighty dollars. Oh my God! Clara, what do you call that? A cheap one, eighty dollars. William McFly and family. William McFly. Doc, look. Oh, great Scott, it's me. Went back to 1885, and I'm bringing you home. Bad plan. Bad, 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 bad. Marty didn't learn anything. He learned absolutely Recalls nothing. It? Yeah, I have, Doc. And Clint Eastwood never wore anything like this. Clint Eastwood, I know who he is now. Remember where you're going, there are no roads. And there's a small cave over there which will be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. At least he's thinking about everything, right? All you have to do is drive the time vehicle directly toward that screen. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. Fine, and those Indians won't even be there. I wonder why they won't be there. Hmm. Anyone knows? Hey, oh, silver. I hope it works. Okay, it, 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 it's happening. It, it's happening. It's definitely happening. Okay, okay. I honestly think that would have been such a shock for everyone. Look how many horsepower. The cave, the cave, go, 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 go. The cave! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to cover the entrance somehow. Okay, he's just gonna leave it like that. Do not take it out. No, no, no. Mm. I hope he didn't mess something up. You never remove an arrow, a knife, or anything. Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Black bears. You don't mess with black bears, my boy. Yeah, and you don't then outrun them. They, 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 they are definitely way faster than you are. <laughs> Slap him harder. Maggie! Fetch some water, we got a hard spot here! <laughs> oh god, Mom. I'm having a deja vu. Mom, is that you? Please, no. I dreamed I was in a western. Well, you're safe and sound here now at the McFly Farm. McFly Farm? <laughs> you're my, my, who are you? The name's McFly, Maggie McFly. And what might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... What? Eastwood? Clint Eastwood? Okay, I only watched the Gran Torino. Not too serious, but Clint lucky for Eastwood. you, Seamus found you when he did. You'll be excusing me, Mr. Eastwood, while I tend to William. <laughs> Oh, is Mr. Clint Eastwood here visiting? <laughs> is he Mr. Eastwood? Yeah, of course he does. 
horse broke down and, and a bear ate my boots and I guess I just forgot my hat. How could you forget a thing like your hat? Not the hat. Not the hat. You sure you're not after bringing a curse on this house, taking him in like that? A curse. And looking after him's the right thing to do. It's like looking after you yourself, right? First McFly born in America. I think he just peed on you. He marked his territory. He recognized you, you as one on of me. the <laughs> one of his kind. <laughs> uh, but hey, you got a you, you you got a head. Hill Valley. Okay. I like how much for they put they actually build a little town. Hill Valley Festival, dance, food game, Saturday night, September the 5th, proceed to something the clock tower. Ooh, in, in manure. He stepped in manure. Or in poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do more steps in it. See if something changes. You know, the circus was in town. Ice water. <laughs> Ice water. <laughs> I think they only have beer, whiskey, and alcohol. We pour whiskey. That whiskey burns. I think you kind of like drink that and your intestines are crying. I'm trying to find the blacksmith. Hey, McFly! Uh oh. Hey, you want to change this, McFly? What's your name, dude? Uh, Martin. Mm. Clint. Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> What's that writing mean? Knee K. What is that? Some sort of Asian talk or something? <laughs> Nikki. I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. You seen him? No, sir, Mr. Tannen. I have not. You mad dog Tannen. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think he wants to be the mad dog. I hate that name. <laughs> Beef is annoying in every year. Oh my god, the moonwalk! <laughs> Baby, and you are you okay? And are you okay? Are you okay? Any, any, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Any... Smooth criminal. Uh, uh. <laughs> shit calls to shit, or like the YouTube would like me to say, poop calls to poop. They catch to you. Uh oh. I actually wonder how did they film this scene? It can be a doll, right? It's actually a person that got dragged like this. Man, they work this actor pretty hard, huh? And it's pointed straight at your head! I would shoot just for good measure. You owe me money, blacksmith. On my horse when it threw the shoe and I got thrown off! Bust a perfectly good bottle of fine Kentucky red eye. Ah, that was the issue. Well, that's your problem, Tannen! Cause one day you're gonna get a bullet in your back. Yeah, because that's the only way you take fights. Like a coward! Behind people's back. Because you like kissing their butts. Marty, I had to come. Well, you it's die. Good to see you, Marty. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You. You did. Shot in the back by Buford Tannen, September 7th. That's this Monday. I don't know anyone named Clara. I don't know, Doc. We're gonna figure it out. You remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher? That word, she's coming in tomorrow. Let me guess, it's Clara. Her name's Miss Clayton. Clara Clayton. Well, 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 I can see the hearts coming. Now we know who Claire is. The idea that I could fall in love at first sight is romantic nonsense. <laughs> That's the way it was me and Jennifer. I mean, we could give our eyes off each other. Yeah, where is Jennifer, by the way? Damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. Put a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're going to have to patch it up and get some gas. Uh-huh. You mean we're out of gas? 
Yeah, it's no big deal. We got Mr. Yeah, Cheese definitely. Yeah, let's go fuel in the backyard. There's not gonna be a gas station without gasoline. You can go deploying up to 88 miles per hour. So what do we do? Start digging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, well, I guess you can use horses too. How about you take the car on a very high hill and you just let it go down? He gave it, but he gave it too hard. I got it! We can simply roll it down a steep hill. If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. By train or? By the train? Like you could stay in front of the train and the train pushes you? But I don't know if the train That's goes it. 88. Well, I've had her up to 55 myself. Possible to get it up to 90. Well, I suppose if you had a straight stretch of track with a level grade, it might be possible to get her up that fast. Okay. This is where we'll push the DeLorean with the locomotive. Mm -hmm. Right, Doc, but according to this map, there is no bridge. Well, Doc, we can scratch that idea. Oh, they're building it. Short. We'll instantaneously arrive at a point in time like where the bridge is completed. With the Indians from the board. Too bad no one will be around to see it. Great Scott! <laughs> Well, Clara, hello! It has to be Clara. You just have to pull and say, Ha! You know, like, Ha! And then they're gonna stop. You saved my life. I'm a brown at your service, miss. Um, Clara. Um, Clayton. Clara Clayton. Clara Clayton. What a beautiful name. Of course, dog. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. I can take care of it. You've done more than enough already. But it's really no trouble. <laughs> Feel somewhat responsible for what happened. What? It's not your fault. That would be very gentlemanly of you, Mr. Brown. Emmett. Glad that snake spooked those horses, otherwise we might never have met. Suppose it was destiny. Someone would say it was destiny. Coincidence. Written in the stars. You're quite welcome. Fortunate. I will see you again, won't I? Well, scientist. Uh, 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 a blacksmith. What sort of science? Uh, astronomy? Actually, I'm a student of all sciences. Love. We have to get going. He likes to study chemistry and, uh, you know, human relations. After all, Miss Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton Ravine. Holy shit! He... Oh my god. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. Great Scott! That she was supposed to go over in that wagon. And now I may have seriously altered history. It won't be the first time. I wish I'd never invented that infernal time machine. It's caused nothing but disaster. Chaos. I apologize for the crudity of this model, but yeah. I just... Point of no return. Start here. Silver something. Tomorrow night. Sunday. Right by the old abandoned silver mine. Uncouple couple the cars from the tender. Throw the switch track and then we'll hijack... Borrow the locomotive and use it. <laughs> hijack borrow? <laughs> Choo choo! To the door, yeah! Push in the door, yeah! It couldn't be simpler. I mean, on the paper it looks good. It's Clara! Quick! Cover the DeLorean! This is quite a surprise. And my telescope was damaged. I thought you might be able to repair it for me. I wouldn't think of charging you for this. Well, let's have a look at it. <laughs> Marty is so uncomfortable. If you move it this way, mm -hmm. the image turns fuzzy. The other way. Everything becomes... Clear. Clear. Hmm. <coughs> oh, tonight's the town festival. You, you are planning on 
attending, aren't you? Will I meet you there? Of course, the festival. In that case, I'll, I'll see, see you this evening at the festival. <laughs> You're very smooth, yeah. Mrs. Uh, Clayton. Very smooth. It's a nice telescope. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure for all time. Nice. Now we have a clock. Man, I didn't bring my camera. Ready, gentlemen? Oh my god, I would actually love to participate in one of these things. Where do I need to go in America to find something like this? Look very nice. Thank you. She does look very nice. She's dashing. Invite her to dance. To, to, uh... Good. Let's see dog dancing. Dog is having fun. Dog can dance. Apparently. Surely you're not afraid to try something that a baby could do. Are you a chicken? Learn to shoot like that. Clint. 7 Eleven. Marshal Strickland, I didn't know you was back in town. I presume you can read this. D double barrel. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course you are. You're a very funny person. The only party I'll be smiling at it's when is when you one leave. That sees you at the end of a rope. Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. It was a little bit nicer, but you know. <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> there he is, Buford. Dancing with that piece of calico. What is a calico? Da na 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 Ain't you gonna introduce me to the lady? I'd like a dance. I wouldn't give you that pleasure. You'll just have to go ahead and shoot. Woo! Emmet! <laughs> no Is it something like Maybe Clementine? The song they play in. I bet there's something you can do that's worth $80. Ah! Ah! A little bit higher. Hey! God damn you. God damn you. Hell. The frisbee. You, you man enough to back him up with more than just a pie plate? It's a frisbee. Look, just leave my friends alone. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yellow? Yellow eyes in a chicken? Nobody calls me yellow. No, you, we call you chicken. What is all about the yellow now? We'll settle this then. Right there. In front of the palace alone. When? Monday. High noon? Noon. I do my killing before breakfast. Marty, what are you doing? Say you're gonna meet Tannen. Monday morning, 8 a.m. We're gonna be gone, right? Theoretically, yes, but what if the train's late? I'm gonna take Clara home. Free? Uh, of course, uh, you understand. If you lose, I'm taking it back. Of course, he's gonna be uh, anyway dead, so you can take it back. Martin used to let men provoke him into fight. He was concerned that people would think him a coward if he refused. That's how he got a boy knife shoved through his belly in a saloon in Virginia City. Maybe now he's actually gonna learn that being called a, a, a chicken... Continue the lesson. <sighs> I yes. found lunar geography so fascinating. I think even if she, if she would tell you the, 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 the golden pages from the phone book, you'll love it. <sighs> Emmett, do you think we'll ever be able to... Travel to the moon. Space vehicles, capsules, settle off with rockets. Powerful that they just... They break the pull of the Earth's gravity and send the projectile through outer space. Well, Clara. I read that book, too. You, you're quoting Jules Verne from the Earth to the Moon. I adore Jules Verne. So do I. Soulmates. I never met a woman who liked Jules Verne before. I never ever met a man like you before. She has the spirit of adventure. She was, she was way be, be beyond her time. A shooting star. I have to make a wish. 
I wish this reaction will get 100k views. Okay, now let's see if it happens. Doc. I just saw half cheek. Stop showing me the cheek! Talking to it's me. It's not full moon. Go ahead. Make my day. Uh, love is in the air. Every time you look around. Oh, nothing. I'm just out enjoying the morning air. Oh, my name, it's vanished. But someone else has to die. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. Someone else is gonna take. Need to take your measurement? Oh, look, pal, I don't wanna buy a suit. <laughs> no, this is for your coffin. Might as well be prepared. It may be your. Yup. Great Scott. I know, this is heavy. I've made a decision. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not, not going coming. Tomorrow. <laughs> Expected. What are you talking ta -ta -ta -ta. about, Doc? I'm in love with Clara. Oh, man. Doc, we don't belong here. Doc, that was very fast, even for you. Anyone can make their future whatever they want it to be. I have to live my life according to what I believe is right. Doc, you're a scientist. Science! This can feel love. I don't know, maybe we can just take Clara with us. Oh, oh no, 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 no. To the future? No! I caution you about disrupting the continuum for your own personal benefit. Therefore, I must do no less. Plan, and as soon as we return to 1985, we'll we destroy, destroy the car. Infernal machine. Yeah. <laughs> Traveling through time has become much too painful. I'm sorry, dog. But I'm sure you'll find love somewhere else. Oh. Off, 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 off. Off. It's Emmett, Clara. Let's see. I've come to say goodbye. Well, I'm afraid I'll never see you again. I want you to know that I care about you deeply. I feel bad. Go back where I came from. Maybe you're gonna find another where Clara. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but just believe me when I tell you that I'll never forget you. And that I love you. I don't know, like three days to fall in love. If, if you sincerely do love me, then tell me the truth. He's gonna All do right. it. Yeah. I'm from the future. And now she thinks you're crazy. And tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. I do understand. Talk to those mendacities in order to take advantage of me. But that's not the truth. Uh, okay, well, that definitely took a turn. I mean, no proof. He didn't give her any proof that he's from the future. Yet he still told her, Emmet. And you can leave the bottle. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, Emmett is a big boy. Oh man, did I sleep? Uh, they didn't have alarm clocks back then, so. Doc is a bit busy. And in the future, we don't need horses. Motorized carriages called automobiles. Does anybody walk or run any? Sadly, no. Ah! He looks more wise with it. I've lost her, Marty. There's nothing left for me here. Ah, please. Back to the future. Right. Let's get going. Here's to you, Blacksmith. <laughs> and to the future. Amen. Yee-haw! How far does the 8 o'clock train go? Well, San Francisco is the end of the line. What about your students? You are a teacher. Now, what do you suggest? Joey! Let's make some wake-up juice. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Spicy, spicy. More spicy. Mouth. Go ahead and pour it on down his gut. Or 
kill him? Right? Are you an Aries one? You gotta do what you gotta do. Make the best sharp sh sharpshooter win. Clint Eastwood. Perfect. What's that mean? <laughs> You ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a coward. Now what? Everybody everywhere will say Clint Eastwood is the biggest yellow belly in the West. What's what's next? Seven. Seven. <laughs> I said that's ten, you gutless yellow pie slinger. I feel like they're all insults, but for He's me, an they they don't sound like. And I don't like care what insults. anybody else says either. Listen, you got a back door to this place? Yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> the back door is in the back. <laughs> uh oh. Yes, sir. That poor fella last case of broken heart I have ever seen. I have to shoot somebody today, and I'd prefer to be you. Forget about me, Marty, and save yourself. Doc is always protecting Marty. I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. Her name was Clara. Sarah. Clara. Clara. Excuse me. Great big brown puppy dog eyes and long silvery flowing hair. You know him. I'm Clara. Well, she stopped the train, all right? How are they gonna do it? Ten steps and shoot. Five steps and shoot. Three steps turn and shoot. Bro. No. Oh? I thought we could settle this like men. With our fists? You thought wrong, dude. But I think he put that matter bar that uh. fall from the chimney on his heart. Because he was looking at it. Huh? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With your feet! Oh. Nappy time! Third time is a charm. Get him out of that shit. <laughs> You're under arrest. You got anything to say? Uh. I hate my no. You 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 gonna have a life full with poop in your future. It's worth twelve dollars, never been used. Maybe I'll trade it for a new hat. Nice. That baby. Let's go to the freaking future. Oh no, Clara. Clara in that dress. He shouldn't have missed you. I'm the she. Okay, okay. Catch it! Grab it! You guys made it! Good, good, good. They have to hide, uh, borrow it. Okay, now bring the car, put it in front. Not both of you guys! Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay. We took the part that we needed and now we go. Chuk, 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 chuk. I wanted to do that all my life. <laughs> now I'm so curious about Clara because I really want to know if they're gonna take uh take her with them or if Doc is gonna stay behind. I'm 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 really not sure what's gonna happen. I am going towards the fact that Doc is gonna stay behind. That's like my uh, prediction. I said that he, he remains and Marty goes by himself. But we will see. I don't think they're gonna take her with them. Okay. Choo choo! Go, Clara, go! She's riding for love! Okay, Nitro. This is Nitro, but for trains. Okay. Marty, the new gauge on the dashboard will tell us the boiler temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we'll hit 88 miles per hour before the needle gets much past 2,000. Okay, okay. What happens after it hits 2,000? The whole boiler explodes. 
Nice. Nice. Truly nice. Shoot! Poor Clara. Poor Clara is going for love. We are running on green fumes. We are in the green, we are in the green fumes. Oh no. And now it's yellow fumes. That's nice. I like that. I like that. That's a detail. That's a nice detail. Oh, he has to make a, cha a, a, a chase. A chance. A chase. A choice. English is hard when romance is involved. <laughs> you, you just climbed the whole back. You just cram the whole thing back! Eh, on wood! 60. Nice and steady wins the race. Oh, oh, the burst, the red burst. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. A choice has to be made here. Oof. Oh, he did, he did. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, what's gonna happen? I'm detecting you with him. Alright, and now. That thing goes that fast? So he's going without them. Yeah, I was expecting that. I uh I was thinking he's gonna remain with with her here. Because Marty just came to the to, to the past just to save Doc from, from dying, right? And he did that, so here he is. It's food! Oh, they changed the name. It's not Clayton Ravine. It's the Eastwood Ravine. I don't know. I cannot pronounce that. Ravine? You remember that they told us the story about the Clay Clayton Ravine, about the, the, the teacher, about Clara? Go out! Yeah. Look at the bright side. They did destroy the car. Right. <laughs> The end. Oh it's destroyed. Yeah. We are back. Let's see where Jennifer is. With his Toyota. <laughs> hey, butthead, get away. Watch your bit of 40. I... Wore that to the leg. Thank God. <laughs> hey, Marty, who are you supposed to be? Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Right. I gotta go get you. I still need to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. I uh, I really wanna watch the that movie by Clint. Yeah. Darling, I'm home. True love's kiss, sleeping beauty awakens. Marty, I had the worst nightmare. I mean, he could. My head is so real. He could have changed his clothes. <laughs> Yep. You put enough to race that asshole? That's the accident, the doc said. He said that I would have hit that Rolls Royce. Yeah. I mean, Doug told him that because he took the chicken there, an accident will happen to him in the future. Doc's never coming back. Oh, The picture. What the hell? Yeah. You and me both. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. He transformed. He transformed the locomotive into a travel machine. Mem. <laughs> Jules and Vern. <laughs> you can't keep a good tie this down. I told I had to come back right side. Oh. I brought you a little souvenir. I need. It's a picture. Nice. Great dog. It means that you're, your yeah. Hasn't been written yet. You can write, write it. Future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. Nice. Boys, back up. I like that they give us this closing of the story. Where are you going now? Back to the future. Oh, already been there. Only dog could have invented something like this. That's such a stretch, but it's nice. It's fun. I like that they kept the... the they kept the sound that the locomotive does. The end. You know, you know, I actually enjoyed this and I'll, I will tell you why. So I actually enjoyed it because this is a... You, usually when there is like a duology or theology or whatever happens, the movies are degrading. Um visible like for example i would give you like the terminator series i reacted to those as well and i have to say that the first movie and the second movie they were both really really good i would say my ranking would be back to future one back to the future three and then back to the future two i enjoyed a little bit more i feel like in back to the future 3 the acting was a little bit more a little better back to the future one was my favorite it, it, it was just Calvin Klein and uh, all of the the other sayings it was just like new refreshing you know I uh, I enjoy those I like the Clint, Clint Eastwood um, remarks here and there I just discovered Clint Eastwood myself I reacted to Gran Torino so I'm, I'm having a big journey ahead I'm, I'm very grateful for everyone that you know stood and waited for my reaction to this uh, very 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 nice movies thank you so much for doing that Check the full reaction on Patreon if you want to see. The other two are there as well. Thank you for the for the support and thank you for being a part of my community. I do hope to see you on my Twitch. And again, if you felt like you waited a long time for these reactions, I do apologize. But, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. I appreciate your support and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!